Oh, right, you. So, you want to know all about heroes, do you? Hey, what's up? Welcome to a new video update on one of the best RPGs for which we all have received a fresh gameplay trailer. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end while you relax for a while. The first Fable game was released back in 2004 and I guess most of you have experienced it. At this time, it was one of the most realistic RPGs ever released as you truly roleplay the character of from being a child to a full grown man. The guild training was the most important of all the quests as you train yourself in different things and later have to pass the graduation test. And that choices given in the game decides your true nature whether you are good or evil. Now in the latest trailer release of the upcoming Fable game, players will roleplay a folklore fantasy of Albion. This time, Playground Games will be developing it along with Microsoft Games. Playground Games had previously worked on the famous racing titles of Forza Horizon series and now this would be their first title into the RPG genre. Also Microsoft will be lending support from EDOS Montreal for the development of Fable. So combining the expertise of uh, Playground Games in creating massive beautiful worlds and of EDOS Montreal to make good action sequences with cinematic gameplay moments, Fable will really be an interesting game. Well, it will not be a story sequel to any previous Fable parts, however, it will be set in the same continent as of Fable 3. Make the most of a gift, but you know what it's like when you're young and you have a point to prove. I tell you, this kid, she had it all. The truest moment of RPG for which I am super excited is the power of choices this game will have. Just like the previous Fable parts, every decision you make will affect the nature of your character, whether you choose to be good or evil. As shown in this trailer, the hero of Albion, Humphrey describes how his bad choices had some consequences and that those stays with you throughout. This means the choices you make will create a new story and are irreversible. Humphrey is retiring and is now training a girl he chose to move forward onto his path of ensuring Albion is safe. And of course it will feature some dark comedies as in witty delivery of dialogues or choices that will make you chuckle a bit. The great and powerful king of Albion is dead. To one son, he leaves the crown. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Fable 3 showcased a story of a tyrannical king and his younger sibling raising revolution against his rule. Maybe there could be some references to be shown in this part and with a complete new gameplay. Along with the high quality, crafting and uh, attention to detail, Fable will surely be amazing. As in the trailer, the buildings and surroundings look familiar to that of the previous Fables. Even there are signboards outside the buildings which means here as well you can buy houses to settle down or rent them. This is a unique RPG feature which none of the other games in this genre have except for Fable. Though the action gameplay seems similar to that of Hogwarts Legacy, there will be action sequences with swords or arrows in the game apart from the use of magic spells. There are currently no release dates announced and hopefully it should get released in the first quarter of 2025. I guess you all are also waiting for more story reveals from the developers. I am as well and I wish to get it on the first day of its launch. So that's all for today's short video update. Hope you all have enjoyed and relaxed a bit. Please stay tuned for more such interesting updates and till then see you in the next video. This place and no one is going to stand in my way.